God grows us through a strengthening process. He grows us through a strengthening process. In order to gain strength physically, you have to push your muscles beyond what they can take. So when you go to the gym and you work out, because you made a New Year's resolution, and you, wor- and you work out, it's good for you, we should do it, uh, what happens is your muscles, as you push them to their limits, they actually tear. The muscle fibers tear. And that's why you get muscle aches when you work out for the first time in six months, because your New Year's resolution, right? And so what happens is your muscles tear, and then your body generates new muscle mass from proteins, and it fills in the gaps. So your muscles grow, and then you tear them, and they grow, and you tear them, and they grow. It's kind of a picture of how we grow spiritually as we face trials. That's why he said, consider it pure joy whenever you face trials. Verse 3, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete. Building endurance is a process. It's not instant. You got to allow the work to be finished, which God is allowing you to go through. He's allowing you to face trials and testing. It stretches you. It's difficult. It might be painful, but he's in control. He knows what he's doing, and he's going to build your endurance. He's going to build your strength. So here's an example, okay? This is uh, from Visconti Fitness. (laughs) This is called a slam ball. So you, you pick it up, and you slam it down. You pick it up. You slam it down, and it's a good workout. You do this a couple dozen times, you're going to feel smoked. So this thing's pretty heavy. It's good exercise. I got this, and me and my wife, we like to work out together. You know, the more you do together, fire burns brighter. So I'm like, babe, you got to try this. It's so good. But for her, she weighs like half as much as me, so she's like, it's a little heavy for her. So, okay, I had to get her one that was a little smaller, okay, because I'm a good husband. I want to give good gifts, so give her one that's appropriate for her and her size, So this is for her, this is a little smaller. And I thought about how God, he'll let us go through trials and testing. And at the time, it just feels so heavy, so awkward, such a burden. You know, if I had to walk around with this all day, it would wear me out. It's wearing me out right now. Preaching's already tiring enough, and now I gotta carry this burden on top of it, right? And so we go through stuff like this, and we don't realize that God is allowing us to face tests and trials so that it will build our strength. He's growing our strength through a process. And it's not so that later on in life, we can continue to face bigger and bigger trials. Because that would be a bummer. It's because he wants to prepare you for greater positions of responsibility and opportunity. So that later in life, when you deal with a trial, it might not be a smaller trial, but you just got stronger. That's the difference. And so the thing that would have just overwhelmed you before, now you can overcome that situation. Right, the thing that would have sunk you before, man, now you're stronger. So you're like, oh, I got this. Yeah, I mean, I'm dealing with some stuff. God, I still deal with stuff like everybody. I still go through trials and tests, but like, yeah, I got this. I got this thing all day. It's not a big deal. I've been through some things already. God's already built my strength. So when you say, man, this thing is tearing me apart, this trial that I'm dealing with, you need to know, let it tear you apart because God's going to fill in the gaps and you're going to grow spiritually stronger. Somebody last service was like, man, I like this pastor's preaching. He's got balls. (laughs) Big ones. For exercise. Come on. 